Hey guys, and welcome to my August favorites. I'm really excited to share some favorites with you guys this month. Um, August has been fun. I was out of town for two weeks in Colorado, and then I came back and had to do all of my call in a two week period. So it was, that part of August was a little bit crazy, but having a vacation and having some time off was much needed to say the least. Um, I obviously did not have very much time to film, video, film videos during that time because we were out of town and then I was working too much. So it's been a while since I posted videos. I know I put up my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty video. Um, and so I'm excited to talk to you about my August favorites. The first thing that I wanna start out with for my August favorites is uh, a TV show that I've been watching. I know that I'm late to this game, but it is Outlander. I know that for those of you who have watched it, it is like, I don't know, it's got a cult following. <laughs> my sister and my mom have been talking about Outlander for like, I don't know, seven years, and how much they love the show and how much they love Jamie, and my sister's read all the books and she's listened to them on you know tape in the car and she's seen the show, and I was always like, what, like, what is the big deal about this? It's just a show. Like, I'm not a huge TV person. I don't have that much time to watch TV, but I, um, was at work, I don't know, I've been doing a lot of call lately, and when I'm stuck at the hospital, there's not much to do while I'm waiting, either on OB call on like a weekday, like on a weekend, I'll do 24 hours of OB call, and for a lot of the day, I'm just sitting there waiting for epidurals, there's nothing to do, so I've gotta find shows to watch, and so finally, I just clicked on Outlander, and I was like, I'll watch it, and I am absolutely hooked. In like two weeks, I have watched three seasons. I started the fourth season last night. I also watched the whole first season over again with my husband because I was like, this is such a good show. I don't know, you guys. I just think that number one, it is not just a love story. It's a really interesting historical fiction book slash movie. And it's gotten me really interested in like English, Scottish history. I love historical fiction. It's my favorite genre of books. And so I'll read the books as well. Um, but it is an amazing love story. The show is so well done. I haven't read the books yet, so it's always hard. People that read books generally don't like the shows or the movies after they've read the books, so I'm not in that position since I haven't read the books yet, but I feel like the show is so well done. It is so well cast. The two main characters, I, I don't know if their chemistry could possibly be better. Um, all the characters are so, so, so well cast up until, I don't want to ruin it for anybody, but up until, you know, season three where I felt like two characters were not well cast. The first season is just so beautiful. The soundtrack is amazing. I don't know. I don't know how Sam, Sam Hugan, who is the, the character that plays Jamie, the main, the main male character in the show, has not won like every award under the sun. He couldn't have captured this character any better. Anyway, I'm totally hooked. If you guys have missed this show, just watch it, you'll love it. It's it's just, it's the best show ever. I think this is one of my favorite shows of life. The soundtrack is just incredible. It's so catchy. I can't get the music out of my head. Um, and that's it. I will stop rambling about Outlander, but that is like my most favorite thing of this month, hands down, period. That's the end of that story. The other thing I did wanna mention is this cute little shirt that a subscriber sent me. Um, she sent it to me from a brand of clothing that she sells. It's called Pixie Lane. I will leave the information in the description box below and you can contact her if you want to look at Pixie Lane clothing and buy any clothing through her. But it is just cute everyday clothing. They have women's clothing, they have children's clothing, and it's just a nice stretchy fabric. They have a lot of leggings. Um, just some really cute stuff and I really like this shirt and I thought it was so sweet of her to send it to me. It is just a plain kind of a stretchy purple um, sleeveless shirt that is very comfortable. And so I wanted to make mention of that before I dive into this video. Um, I have a lot of random things this month. I have some clothes, I have some purses, I have some makeup. Let's start with makeup um, since that's generally what I talk about, but there's not that much because I haven't been wearing makeup because we are back to N95s at the hospital. And you know, the Delta variant is so contagious that we are back to wearing N95s. Even if we are vaccinated, our ICUs are crazy. They've stopped a lot of elective surgery again. Um, that has not slowed down my schedule. I will say that I'm still working crazy, crazy hours, but um, COVID's crazy in Texas. And so we're back to N95s. I'm not wearing that much makeup. I'm just wearing concealer and eye makeup every day. So I did want to mention the things that I wore in Colorado the whole time and some other products that I really, really enjoyed while I was there because that was really the last time I was wearing makeup every day. So the first thing I want to mention, my lips were so dry there and I wore these Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. They're so comfortable, you guys. They're beautiful. 
They smell delicious. They smell like coconut. They come in a few different colors. I got this in a combination of three over the holidays. Um, so if you want to wait till the holidays, I'll probably have like a really good deal on these. But if you like lip balms, this is one of the loveliest lip balms I've tried. It is not oily. I hate oily lip balms. It is just very, very moisturizing and it does make your lips look juicy. It's called Juicy Lips and um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful formula. So of all the lip balms that I have tried that have color to them, I think this is probably my favorite. Um, it's just got exactly the right consistency for me. It's not oily, it's a tiny bit on the thick side, which I prefer, and it does make your lips look juicy. So I highly recommend these. The other lip product that I love, you guys have heard me raving about um, the Rimmel Stay Glossy lip glosses. They're not cruelty free, I learned after a recent uh, video that I posted, and so that may be a deal breaker for a lot of you guys, but I, I don't look at that. Maybe that makes me a bad person, I don't know, but I'm not, I'm not a super cruelty-free person. So anyway, if you don't mind that it's not cruelty-free, this lip gloss is gorgeous. It's in the shade Blushing Belgraves. Somebody recommended it after a video I posted a few weeks ago. And so I wanted to talk about it because it's such a great shade. It's so pretty. It's like the perfect pink. It's not too white. The one that I had mentioned in a video a few weeks ago, well, I mentioned all the colors that I had, but one that I really like is almost very similar to White Russian. It's kind of a whitey pink, but this is a more pinky pink. It's got more color to it, so if you feel like that white undertone of lip glosses like that in White Russian by Buxom is too white for you, this Blushing Belgraves is a really pretty color. It is so beautiful, and I love these lip glosses because they are so comfortable. I wanted to talk about an eyeshadow that I've been wearing literally every single day. I mentioned it in another video recently that I had bought some ColourPop Super Shock shadows, but this shade Ladybug, I wear it every single day. It's like you can see, I want you to see the dent in it already. I have used so much of it. I just plop it on my eyes because it's so easy. And it is just this beautiful peachy gold, glittery, shimmery, stunning color. And it is just, the ease of use is probably why I use it every day. It's just easy to like plop on my eyeshadow it brightens my eyes, it makes me look awake, it makes me happy because it's got a little bit of glitter in it and it's just a great color. So Ladybug ColourPop, if you guys have not seen that color, tried that color, I urge you to buy it. It's $5 and you can't beat it, it's just so great. The other eyeshadow that I've been wearing a ton um, that is always a go-to eyeshadow, I've mentioned this a million times on my channel, but I'm just being honest, this is what I've been wearing lately, is MAC, um, what is it called? MAC Woodwinked. It's my favorite MAC color of all time. It's my oldest MAC color. I've gone through pan after pan after pan of this year after year after year. I put Woodwinked on my lids. That is what I have on my lids right now. And then I put Honey Lust, which is this one that you can see is also very well loved, um, in my inner corner. And this quad is just, it can't be beat. So this is Brune. This is Woodwinked, this is Honey Lust, and I don't remember the, the name of this color, um, but it's just kind of like a medium tone brown with a slightly warm undertone. Um, these colors are what I'm wearing on my eyes today, and I love them. And Woodwinked is the best MAC color ever made, so if you've never tried Woodwinked, you must, you must try it. I also wanna mention the blush that I wore the whole time I was in Colorado, which is Baby Love by Too Faced. The reason that I mention this is because I understand that Too Faced is like bringing these back, and this is such a great color, Baby Love, it's perfect. It's just the perfect pinky brown. You can wear it with any eye look. It is so good for light to medium skin tones. These stay on your cheeks all day. They do not rub off. So this is a great blush, and if they do come out with them again, which Trend Mood says recent posted something probably in the last six or eight weeks, maybe even longer, maybe it was like 12 weeks ago, saying that Too Faced was coming back out with these blush uh, hearts, I highly recommend Baby Love. It is a great, great color. The last beauty item I wanted to talk about with you guys is this Tresemme um, hairspray. So we were in Rosemary Beach in June, and we took family photos on the beach, and I needed something that was going to keep my hair from frizzing on the beach for these pictures. And I have totally curly hair, to like frizzy, curly hair. I flat iron it. If I'm in San Antonio, it stays straight, but on the beach, like all bets are off. There is no way to keep my hair straight. So what I did is I sprayed this on every single piece, every strand of hair before I flat ironed it, before we went to the beach for those pictures. 
It was like I was wearing a helmet, but I wanna tell you guys, it is a grocery store product. I got it at Walmart, it's so cheap and it worked so well. So if you have really, really curly hair and you are trying to like make your hair into a helmet so that you can either have a wedding or have pictures taken in a frizzy climate, I highly recommend this hairspray. It is the mega firm control hold. So it's got like the five dots at the bottom, but that is what I needed for these pictures and it did, like, it did the job. For the first 20 minutes of the photo shoot on the beach with my family, my hair was good. Um, so I highly recommend it. The other nice thing about this hairspray is that many, many, many times with my Kenra hairspray, with my Sebastian hairspray, all the higher end hairsprays, I don't know why, but this little tip thing gets, the hairspray gets sticky on it and it won't spray. And you have to like put hot water on it and scrape it off in order to get an even spray. That has not happened with this can at all, which it's, it makes its ease of use so nice. I can't stand it when I've got to like pick off the stuck hairspray and it doesn't spray right or it like sprays like all over the place. And I've had this now for three months and it hasn't done that yet. So I really appreciate this hairspray. It's a great product you can get at Walmart. It's cheap and it works really, really well. The next things that I wanted to talk to you guys about are some shirts that I got at the Nordstrom anniversary sale that I really like. I wore one of them in my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty recommendation video and it is these state shirts. I bought this in cream at the anniversary sale and I thought it was too see-through, so I ordered one in this maroon color. And I also got it in this beautiful blue color. I wanna mention these just because I think that they, like when you see them on the hanger, they don't look as flattering as they are on. They have this beautiful deep V-neck, which I think is just so flattering. I think on women, when you wear a V-neck, it's just really, really flattering because you can see your collarbones and I think it's just a beautiful look. It's also got this beautiful ruffle around the neck and it's got chiffon leaves, chiffon leaves, chiffon sleeves. So it's kind of a mixed media top. Um, they're so beautiful and I just wanted to let you know that I really recommend them. They were a really good price in the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but even though the sale is over, it's not an unreasonable price at regular price. So I did want to mention those two shirts to you because I've worn them a few times and really, really enjoyed them and just think they're beautiful. I also wanted to mention a brand of bag that I have bought multiple of this summer. When we were in Rosemary Beach, I bought this huge tote and the name of the brand is How Shore. These are actually neoprene bags and they come in really, really interesting like shapes and sizes and fabrics. I happen to really like camo, you guys know that. And I just think that this neutral color is lovely and it's got this beautiful gold. And I bought this bag and I've been using it so much. I love it. I'm into big totes that I can just throw a bunch of stuff in. And I like that bag that I got in June so much that when we were in Colorado, I found two more of these that I really like. So I bought two more. One of them is just a camera bag that goes cross body like this. And they come with these really, really interesting guitar straps. Like this one's kind of red and green. It's kind of got a Gucci-esque feel actually, now that I look at it. That's kind of what it looks like. I just got it because I thought it would be nice for fall with these more fall colors that are red and green, but they had this in like a gorgeous like gold camo with like bright fuchsia pink, which was so cute. It was adorable. I was choosing between that and this. I'll throw a picture of that, the one that I was also looking at up on the screen for you guys. But I did decide to get this because I thought it would be nice for the fall. And then I also got this little pouch because you can pop a wallet, a phone, and your keys in it and carry it around really easily, but it also fits in the glove box of your car. And I just thought that that would be nice to tote my stuff around um, town on, you know, when I'm just like running an errand. You can also like take this off and just use it as a clutch if you're going out. So I just thought that they were really cute. I think that the fact that they're a little bit metallic dresses them up a little bit and makes them a little bit more wearable. And um, I just think that the fabric is interesting. I think that their designs are interesting. So how chore, I'll link it below. It's just a very cute brand that I wanted to mention to you guys. And I think that's it, you guys. I think that wraps up my August favorites. I definitely um, would love to know what you guys have been loving this month. Please do let me know in the comments below. I love reading your comments. If you are new to this channel, please be sure that you subscribe, hit the little bell notification so that you can be notified every time I post new videos. If you have not watched Outlander, watch it. You'll love it. I promise. I haven't met anybody that's not obsessed after they watch it. And happy like beginning of September to all of you guys. I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.